What's going on guys, Timing and Amazing here and we're back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to level up your characters fast. So if you want to be leveling up your characters fast in action timing in the main method i like to do is go to the event area and actually like farm the event so this event that we have out right now the new timing is and the evil miss um this event actually just came out about like a few days ago and it's going till june 14th so this is going to be the event you want to grind here i did actually grind these past three events here and i got all of it done already um as you can see i went to the uh, 10th box on each of them and we actually cleared it out um so it's definitely worth farming as a new player um, especially this one too because you do get a uh, you are supporter here being the sakia um so you definitely want to make sure you are farming this right um and basically what you want to do as a newer player is you go to the event area and you want to actually farm these first five stages here on on uh easy here because you can't farm normal and hard like early on because it is very like the scaling in action timing in is pretty uh crazy um going from normal or like easy to normal in the game is a little bit um tough for a newer player because you need to get your supporter situated you need to get your weapon situated um and we'll probably go over that in another video but in this video basically what you want to do is you get your new character you clear all five of these stages right here if possible once you clear this stage here what you want to do is you want to do it on times five drops here so once you do times five drops it's going to cost 30 stamina um and you're actually going to be able to clear this and it's going to give you 100 percent drop of the actual gotcha thing um that you need as well um so i'm going to do a stage here i'm going to switch to my kirara here um because i've been actually leveling her up myself um and this is the event i actually do as you can see i got her to level 30 and she's been out for not too long um but i'll show you guys if we do like um uh, we do like this stage right here i think this stage and this stage of the event right now is doing pretty good um but you can basically do any of them i'll actually bring rinko instead um just to show you guys a better example because uh she's not as high um of a level she's only level 20 so she's still like early on right um and for her supporters and stuff i'll kind of just like uh leave it like you know pretty bare minimum um another thing you can do as well is going to be this supporter right here you can actually buy this supporter um the watarase uh sumuji um you can actually buy watarase sumuji um and she actually does increase your uh, xp and gold gain by about uh, seven percent at one out of five um and you can actually get her for only one dollar so if you do want to buy her you know by all means it's up to you right you don't have to actually buy this if you want to level up i think it just helps out when you're using it and i got him two out of five right now so i spent two dollars on this unit or on this uh, supporter but um you don't have to use the supporter if you don't want to but i will for this video for the sake of the video here just level up my rinko and then for the other supporters we could just slap on some rare supporters just to be like you know um we'll just drop on some rare supporters here i guess we'll just do this um we'll drop you on there and then we'll also just drop um if i have another one here or actually maybe i'll even just do the damage reduction what what build was i running on my rinko here i was running meteor impact so i should probably run full blue um yeah but it's fine we, we can run two blue i'll ring the the free um supporter that's in the event and then i'll also just bring um i guess the uh, uh my here so we'll put my on and yeah we'll actually just hop into the stage here and i'll show you guys how much xp we actually get for clearing this event um let me just get some ap pots real quick and then we will hop in another thing too like if you guys want to like farm early on in the game um i highly recommend uh buying ap pots in the shop instead of actually using your gems because if you use your gems on a stage like i'll just show you um if you use your gems like if i was to use my gems here it would only restore 50 stamina for 10 gems right so look at that 50 uh 50 stamina for 10 gems um and if you actually go to the shop here i'm um, not the gotcha if you actually go to the shop here and we go to consumables you're actually going to see that AP pots fully restore, um, 100% restore your stamina, and it only costs 10 per AP pot. So it's costing the exact same amount as it was if you wanted to actually like buy it. Um, but you're actually just going to be able to get the AP pot here. Um, but I like to buy it in bulk, so I'm going to buy uh, 10 right there. And then we're going to hop into the stage. I'm going to show you guys uh, how fast uh, or how much levels we actually get when we use Rinko here on this stage. So let's actually do... Um, it actually doesn't really matter what we do, but we'll do this stage just to be... Actually, no. We'll do this stage as an example because i know i remember this one being quick so we'll use an ap pot here and i'll bring my rinko she's not really like too crazy or anything um but i'll show you guys how much levels we get here um early on because like getting your character to level 30 is probably like the first thing you want to do um you can go through the story too like until you get like uh you know locked off but uh yeah that's what i like to do i like to use my uh i like to do the events here to kind of level up my characters right um i think this is probably the best way to go about it so you know, this supporter is actually not that bad though, the one you buy um, for the XP. Because um, it has like uh, an ability here which actually slows down the enemies, which I kind of like. So, um, we'll actually just go through the stage here. And um, we'll use my Meteor Impact. 
Yeah, Renko is really fun though, by the way. Um, I've been enjoying using Renko recently, and uh, the only thing is I just gotta get her leveled up, so I should probably be uh, doing, doing what I'm saying in this video, which I am. Uh, we are farming this event right here. So let's actually just, you know, clear through this, uh, these enemies right here. Oh. Okay. There we are. Once we get to the boss, we'll actually just drop the ultimate and it'll be an easy clap. So, uh, let's see. There we go. Yeah, this stage is actually pretty quick. So for this event that's out right now, I think you would do this one. This is probably the best one. So I actually just drop the ultimate wrinkle there. See how much we do. And then we'll also just drop the meteor impact again. And then uh, we'll just go crazy, go stupid. And all the wind slice and then drop that. There we go. Oh, there's another guy too. Okay. There we go. Just like that. There we go. So let's actually see how much XP we get from this stage here. Oh, my Nisaseo. Nice. Okay, let's see. So we cleared that in about a minute. Um, and my Rinko's not too crazy. Like, I have her weapons done and I do have some supporters, right? Um, but as you can see here, we already gained uh, 2,300 XP. And that's on the uh, normal difficulty, right, guys? So that's, like, already really good. To be fair, I did have the XP supporter. Um, but if you were to take that out of a, like, out of account, like, you just uh, subtract 9% off the level up I just got. Which is basically, like, let's just say this stage gives you, like, 2,000 XP, right? That's pretty good in terms of levels because you're actually going to be leveling up pretty fast. Um, so yeah, you definitely make sure to farm this. Um, and then another way to level up as well is just by doing the main quest. So you could just do like as much easy of the main quest as you can. Once you've cleared all the way up to episode 13 or uh, chapter 13 here, um, you can start moving into normal and seeing like testing out if your characters are able to beat that. Um, but normal is kind of where you need like a lot more uh, supporters and weapons to kind of get built up for that. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for this video. If you guys want to grind XP really fast for your characters, make sure to do the events that are out at the time. Um, obviously, this will change for uh, in the future if you're watching this, like, you know, after June 4th uh, when this event is gone. Um, but basically, any event here, which I also farmed, like, these older events, just as an example. Like, I farmed all of these. I was on the 15th box on this one, but... Um, yeah, I farmed all the old events there and got a bunch of XP. And as you can see, for my characters, like, I've gotten a lot of them up um, to basically level 75 here. I haven't gotten them limit broken to level 81 yet. Um, but as you can see, like, my Emily, my Kurenai, my Asagi, they're all, like, really high level already, so... Yeah, that's basically it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace out and have a great rest of your day.